Oh yeah, no offense, yeah. Right, do apologize that I've been on a while. I've lost internet since the 16th, so I've been using my phone. My phone to upload videos, so I'm now I'm back online. Hopefully we're still online. Right. In this video. <laughs> carry on with my inch bag. Lock. I'm gonna show you my inch first aid kit. It's not really my I don't class as my inch first aid kit, I class this as my home first aid kit or if I have to leave my house because there's an emergency in the street or I have to leave my house because someone got hurt in the street, as I said, or if, say, Dopey Dog got hurt down the bottom where I normally go with my friends and she needs a first aid badly, I can run home, I can grab this bag and then run straight back to her. So, yeah, it's not a very big bag, it's on a strap, as you can see. This does hang up in my hallway. So, yeah, right. It's a lovely bag because it has two little strap bits here. Two nice zips. So, yeah. It's a clamshell design. As you can see. I know I've just closed it a bit, but I didn't want everything to fall on the floor. So, yeah, there you go. I don't want to take everything out because at the end of the day, I don't think I need to because there would be no point. On top, on the cordage, I have some tape, as you can see. There, I have some eye solutions, third eye solutions, I have some burn gels, and I have a torch. What's not in a pouch, in anything, is a number triangular bandage. It's a triangular bandage, as well as some three drops for the dog for an emergency. As you all know, I do have a first aid kit for the dog. I do have a first aid kit on my rucksack, and I do have a first aid kit I do take on Dartmoor with me. So, shall we carry on? Okay, I'll start with this section here. I do apologise, but I've just got to keep an eye on Dog. Right, I have two of these lints. I am planning to get some more. I will be getting more of that more likely next week. So, yeah. There's two of them. I'm putting everything back as I go because I don't, like, I don't want to make a mess. I have a bigger barn gel thing. I wanted the barn bags, but at this one time I can't find them. I can only buy the gel. So, yeah. I have some five sterilized wound closure strips, but I have, I think, about three or four packets in there. So I have them. I have some of these non wound swabs. And these sterilized ones again, and then they're fantastic. I do have some low adhesive dressing pads, that's the same as the um lint, it's just like it's a pad and it's sterilized. So, yeah, we have some smaller than ones, small ones as well. We do have some. Adhesive dressing pads, sterilized ones. They're quite good, just in case you've got a big cut. And we have some small of the normal swabs. And all that fits in the back of this little pouch here, back here. I'm sorry if I'm washing, it's just that I'm trying to get things done. Because I want to get this video uploaded. Because it's been too long since I actually did a proper video, so yeah. Right, if I change sides now, as you can see, it's a lovely do size. Here, I have tongue, some tongues and presses. They're not sterilised, they're not in a gap, but they're there. In here is my tools. I'll go for that in a minute. Here, I have some alcohol wipes, alcohol swabs, and iodine swabs. I'm not taking them out because you will know what they look like. In the back of this one, I have a foil blanket. Right, let's go for the tools now quickly. I have a mouth to mouth mask. I have some safety pins. I have some tweezers. I have a skull scalp coal blade, a scalpel hold, um, handle. I have a finger dressing in here. There's a lot. Well, I call it a lot in here, and there is a lot in here. I even took the small trauma K out of, out of, out of Dopey Dog's 
looks like and I stuck it in here. I'm hoping to get another, a few more of them ones because they look, they're quite good, they're quite handy, so yeah. That's all in there. Right. In the, behind all that lot, there's another zip. And behind all this, I have loads of bandages. I'm not going to get them all out because you all know what bandage looks like and there's no point. Right, that's mine. What I call my inch slash home slash an emergency first aid kit. Right, I want to tag a couple of people in this video. For one, I want to tag, I'm going to, I know everybody's going to say why, but I'm going to tag Potato Head in it. Because at the end of the day, he said he wants to do videos, so I'm going to tag him in this one. I want to tag Hooper's Cat. Oh, Hopper's Cat, so I'm sorry if I can't say your name properly. Oh, Pepenus, something like that, I think it is. I will tag you in as well. And... I want to tag Dog Kink. See what you've got in your home or inch. First aid kit, whatever you want to call it. It's up to do with you. So yeah, those are the three people. Potato Head, Hooper's Cat, Pepenus. Doc Inc. So tell me what you think guys. Tell me what you would add, tell me what you would take away. Um as I said I do apologise that I've been around a bit. But yeah. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye bye.